it does feel strange uh when I think like oh my gosh I'm a mom now you know she was growing inside me all that time It was only a year ago that Monica Riley, along with her partner Sid, wanted to become the fattest woman in the world, and in the process, become immobile. What attracts me to being immobile is you get to be like a queen. But a year on, things are looking quite different for this couple. Oh, it's been a 100% change for us. Looking back, I think the reason why I did want to get, you know, fatter um, was I guess I felt like I was missing something in my life. And I guess that was one of the ways to kind of fill that void. But then I, you know, realized, you know, I, I, I want to have a family. That's what I want to do with my life. Monica and Sid recently welcomed a new arrival into their family, their daughter, Michelle. When I first heard that I was pregnant, I was, I was shocked. I've had positives before, um, but it always ended in a miscarriage. The main jump start to losing weight was getting pregnant. I knew that I wanted to have a family with Sid, and I knew the steps I would have to take in order for that to happen. I knew I had to lose some weight. Uh, during pregnancy, doctors told me to just watch what I eat mainly, try to lose some weight. Monica has been on a dramatic weight loss journey since discovering she was pregnant. I, I've always told her from the get-go about, you know, about losing weight. Don't do it for me. You know, don't, don't do it for, for anyone else. At my heaviest, I was around 700 pounds. And then when, right before I had her, I was at 520. And then now I am 465. The pregnancy for me, it was fairly easy. Uh, towards the end, it did start getting pretty difficult. She, uh, we'd, we'd taken her to the, I'd taken her to the hospital. Her blood pressure was super high. They were like, yeah, you're not leaving until you have this baby. She originally was wanting to have a natural birth. Due to complications, baby Michelle was born seven weeks prematurely. When she was first born, she looked funny. She had these big old blue eyes and she just looked like a little potato. Her face was all scrunched up and I don't know. She, to me, yeah, she kind of looked like a little alien. <laughs> but she's beautiful. <laughs> when I first saw her, I just started crying. I bawled like uncontrollably. I was so happy. And just so many emotions came through. It was after she was born that she got a... Um, sonogram they did tell us that she had four little holes in her heart if they didn't close up she would have to get heart surgery that really freaked me out but as the couple weeks went by you know uh so they started to close up on their own um as of now she only has one little hole in her heart and it's about the size of a pinhead so it's not big at all and the doctor thinks that you know it won't affect her negatively at all Hand. Even though she was born prematurely, um, her pediatrician said that she's hitting all of her milestones and all of the developmental tasks that babies need to do. Um, she's doing it with flying colors. She's doing amazing. Um, hi, gorgeous. You gonna talk to mommy? Huh? Oh. Oh, so when Monica told me that she wanted to be immobile, uh, just a little over a year ago, I, I'm not going to help you do it, but I still love you no matter what. I was absolutely devastated and mortified. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, the transformation in her, in her mindset is unbelievable.
the thought of like being immobile now it's not no. appealing i guess no. come on no. when i look back at um when i was eating like just oh, junk Jesus. food and fast food every day um uh, i don't regret it at all i don't think i would ever do it again i know what it did to me and you know i'm not for that lifestyle anymore i think michelle did save my life the weight that I am now um, I think it does hold me back it's still kind of hard for me to get on the floor with the baby and get up when I give her a bath it is a little hard to get back up from the floor um, yeah there we go You know, walking around with her, um, it's still kind of difficult to walk long distances. Michelle played a huge part in me losing weight and still continuing to lose weight. And now wanting to get, you know, some kind of weight loss surgery to further help me. only thing that's putting me off about getting surgery is I don't want to get that skinny you know I I, I still like being chubby I like it um, it's just comfortable for me you know being the chubby girl or the fat girl um, I just want to be healthy <laughs> did she make a face yeah, she's like so I can <laughs> be around for her when she's older you know I want to see her go to kindergarten and then you know graduate high school, stuff like that. I know that I've brung a, another life into this world. I never thought that I'd be a mom. I never thought that I could have a successful, you know, pregnancy. She makes me incredibly happy. Having her around really changed my life for the better, you know, with everything, with my weight, with my mental state that I was in. Everything was just so much better. Just this little bitty girl. <laughs>